What is up, guys? It is the end of January. You know what that means. Pick up video. So we're going to go over what I've gotten this month. We are also kind of doing two videos in one. We are doing a channel update. So I had to wait to do all this stuff because, as some of you know, my... My job schedule is crazy. Swing shifts, two weeks on, two weeks off. We change everything like that. We get 12-hour shifts and stuff. Well, I just got done working about 12 days in a row of 12-hour shifts, so I was unable to do any videos or anything, but I was able to get on and make sure that I supported a lot of my friends and stuff on the channel. I'm going to put some links in the descri uh, description below to a couple, of, uh, a couple of my buddies. You guys need to definitely check out Chill Scissors. Great, I love his videos. One of my favorite ones he does is the how he made a Master Chief. And then he recently got an Xbox kiosk, which is awesome. That was cool. Thanks for sharing that, buddy. Um, bring me Joy-Con. I can't forget about you, buddy. He's got a couple of good giveaways going around. And he always has pretty up-to-date Nintendo stuff. Anytime anything's released, he does a video about it. He's really awesome to have around for information like that. Plus, his videos are awesome. Um, yeah. Go ahead, you guys got to check out Bring Me Joy-Con also. And lastly, War Train Wins. You guys definitely need to check him out. Now, this guy is, his subscribers are popping up like crazy. Everything's going awesome for his channel. I love all his stuff. He's got so much cool stuff. I love all his one-up one up arcade cabinets and everything. You guys need, definitely need to check him out if you haven't yet. So, we'll go ahead and first we'll just do the channel update. Like I said, I've been working my tail off. Uh... We're going to be taking my youngest to a Baby Shark live showing in March. Uh, my family and I have never been on an actual family vacation, so what we're going to be doing this year is I put about a grand aside or so, and we're going to we're gonna have fun with that. So you'll see in the pickup part of this, this month has been pretty bare. Not only have I been working so much, but I also, yeah, I haven't really been spending as much. Now, I am filming on a new desk. I know you can't really see it too well, but if you watched one of my last few videos, you can see it, and it's awesome. I'm loving it. It's crazy awesome. I, I love this. And pretty soon I'll have my PC, my gaming PC here, and everything will be cool, and we'll be doing more streaming, hopefully better editing, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, things are only going up. So that's part of the channel update right there is we're going to be, hopefully within the next month or so, we're going to be upgrading some of the stuff in the room. Um, I'm already working on storage and stuff like that. And as you can see behind me, i got my Terminator 2 and my... Back to the Future thing off the wall because we put in a new shelf that are holding all my NES games right now. Check out that video too that I recently did, and you guys can see all that. Um, I have a buddy right now on my uh, on Instagram. He is currently building me a logo, so we can kind of we're gonna update the channel a little bit. Um, logo wise, we're gonna go for kind of a more professional look. I know a lot of these in the past have just been me picking and. Uh, making my own and they just haven't been up to par with what I want to be especially if I want to start doing stuff later down the road I know uh, like I recently got this from Teespring so hopefully down the road if I can get a nice big logo I can put it on there and stuff like that and yeah so this is all the bigger they can make it because of the details of all the crappy in it you know the crappy bits and stuff like that so you know like that now, hopefully we'll get a new logo and stuff like that. And he's doing an awesome job. You guys are going to love it once it's done. It's pretty sweet. He got an 8-bit version of me and stuff on there. It's, it's pretty awesome looking. Um, but besides that, we're going to be bringing back long plays. Um, better gameplay video. So I'm going to start doing it, trying to do full playthroughs again. So I did that originally at the beginning of the channel. And it didn't seem to be very popular. But I found out later on that people do like to watch that sometimes. Um specifically in my streams and stuff I've noticed people stopping by and staying for long periods of time just to watch the game and that's really cool so what I'm gonna start doing is I think I'm gonna pick a game I was gonna do one a month but I don't like doing scheduled stuff like that because if something doesn't happen I have bad anxiety and if I can't get to playing that game that month I will freak out and I will get like angry and stuff like that it's crazy I don't know if anybody of you guys know the same thing but if I can't get to playing that game I will start getting anxious and stuff like that so we're not setting schedules like that the only one about the only one schedule thing i do a month is do pick up videos for sure otherwise it's just kind of a random assortment of stuff which down the road might change but because i can't do these guys that every tuesday night do a video and stuff like that because my schedule just doesn't work with that i have three kids i have a like i said a crazy hour job and stuff like that so it just doesn't work that way 
So we're bringing back gameplay. We're bringing back long plays, hopefully. So uh, besides that, we're just going to kind of keep going with going. I, I want to start streaming more. I want to get that gaming PC. I want to start getting my green screen hopefully going. I'm new to that, and I'm trying to work on that a little bit more. Um, but all this stuff takes time, you know. Uh, just like this game room didn't come together overnight. So we got we're going to work on getting that stuff going. And hopefully down the road we'll be, you know, it never ends. It never does. I'll always find something. I'll get this place going the way I want it to be, and there will be something else coming up that will change. So, um, besides that, you know, I had a list of stuff I was going to talk about for the channel update, but besides that, there's really nothing much going on. Nothing's going to change too much. We're still going to do pickup videos. We're still going to do game talks. Um, I was thinking about throwing in every once in a while doing a movie talk or something like that. A uh, good example of that would be I have on Blu-ray somewhere I believe they did a they did a live-action uh, Street Fighter series on YouTube a while back. I can't remember the I want to say Warrior Within. That doesn't, that doesn't really sound like something like that. But I was thinking about actually sitting down and rewatching that, doing some clips and talking about it. It is game related and it is movie related. And if you guys have not checked that out, you guys need to. Same with uh, Mortal Kombat Legacy. That stuff is awesome. You guys need to definitely check that out. So, going on with that, it might just be random stuff that we're going to be checking on. You know, we're going to be basically throwing stuff at the wall until it sticks to try and, uh, yeah, to do whatever's fun for me, whatever's fun for you guys to watch, and hopefully grow this channel. Um, the last few weeks have been kind of a, a halt. We haven't, I've had maybe a few new subscribers, but. The best part about that, though, is it means it's actually good subscribers. It's not just because I'm getting tired of the Instagram sub for sub, sub for sub on all my comments and stuff like that. That's getting annoying. So all I know is that my people that are subbed to me right now are, they like my content. They like the stuff I put out. They're my friends and everything like that. And I really like that because the closer net stuff, too, is nice to see. Because I'm just, you know, I can relate more to you guys. I don't have somebody with a makeup channel that's subbed to me that's never going to watch my stuff. Just so I can have one more sub on there. That doesn't matter. So it matters putting the stuff out. So we're going to work on making this channel better. We're going to make this channel great again. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I can't, I can't do that kind of stuff, so. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's what, here's what you've been waiting for. Um, the pickup video. Like I said, it's not much. Um, we're just going to go over a little bit of what I got, how I got it, approximate value of it, and that. I mean, nothing crazy. Um, so we'll go out, we'll go with first, uh, one of the first few pickups I had this month. Um, so, so this, uh, this was a... Uh, Somebody posted on Facebook, it was an older gentleman, he had a bunch of, a stack of original Xbox games. And, I don't have many, I'm not for one for, for collecting just that, but I do like Xbox. Um, I have an Xbox One, I got a 360, I got the OG one. And I'm hoping to look into modding my OG Xbox so I can hopefully play like old 64 games and stuff on there, because I've seen people doing that and it's really freaking sweet. So, but... So a bunch of these games popped up. Uh, I want to say thirty some of them. Um, he wanted two bucks a piece, or I think sixty dollars, or more than sixty bucks for the lottery. It was something like that. I can't remember what it was, but I don't. I I didn't have the money at the time. Well, I did, but I didn't want to blow that much money on stuff like that. So I went through the list, and half of them I already had anyways. So they were very common, so I didn't need them. So what I basically just did is pick and choose the ones that had value and the ones I like. So here's what we got. Um, paid about two bucks a piece, if that. I think it might even, I think it might even been a dollar fifty. But uh, we got Return to Castle Wolfen, Castle Wolfenstein, Castle Wolfenstein. Um, never played this one. Been wanting to. I like the new uh, Wolfenstein games they have out there. Now this one's really awesome. If you have not played this game, you need to play this game. So this is the Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. I believe it's got two games on there, actually. Or is this just the one with the original? I think this is just the one with the Escape from uh, Butcher's Bay. I think there's a 360 game that has this one plus the newer one on it. But that game is super awesome. I love, you know, Ben Diesel was awesome in this. And Riddick is just cool to begin with. Um, 
been wanting to play this game. I never really got the opportunity. Um, I always thought that it was kind of kiddish, and I didn't know if I'd like it. But after watching some people's gameplay and stuff like that, I really want to check it out. Um, we got the Simpsons Hit and Run. Now, as you can kind of see, these cases are mint. I mean, this looks brand new. I, it's hard to tell, I think, sometimes with the camera. But that is, like, mint. Um, I opened it up. I mean, it's hard to open because it hasn't been opened much. So I don't know if this guy... I mean, the disc is a little dirty. I don't know if this guy used to play or if he got these games because his grandkids or something like this, but he's an older gentleman. And a lot of these are pretty mint in condition. And that's what I kind of liked about them, too. Um, now, this was kind of a fun game, too. Um, I played it a long time ago, but Enter the Matrix. Now, I'm a big Matrix fan. I don't care what anybody says. I loved the Matrix. Everybody said that after the first one, it kind of went downhill. I don't care. I liked them. Um, I hear that they're working on another one right now, um, so I'm excited to see that. I think the I don't know if I I don't want to slaughter the name, but the Wachowski brothers did a great job with these movies. Yes, the first one's probably my favorite. And I loved it, and I remember exactly when I watched it when I was a kid, uh, around Christmas time with my dad and my sister. Uh, it was, and I loved that movie. I could not get enough of it, but. Yeah, that's a fun game, too. You don't technically play as any of the actual character characters from the movies. You play as side characters, but it's really cool. Um, now, this one, I was excited to see. This was this was what really draw me in. Um, it's not a crazy expensive game, but I think I paid 2 bucks and it's about $20 worth. Now, it does have stickers on it and pre-owned and stuff like that. But, I mean, look at that. Pre-owned, $44.99. This is probably bought from something. And... It's good in good shape. It's in good shape and everything. It's not the best shape, and I don't like the stickers on it, but I've been having a lot of people tell me that I need to play this game. I need to play the Silent Hill games. I'm not a very big uh, horror fan, um, but I am thinking about checking this one out. So one of these days, I'm pretty busy. But, okay, so that was from that, old, from that one guy. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. For five Xbox games, not bad. Now, after that, I uh, I left his, stopped at Goodwill, and I did get a PS2 game that I've been wanting if I found it locally or in the wild. But we just got the original Devil May Cry. Found that at Goodwill. Um, three bucks, but the lady working did not know any better. Thought it was a DVD, so I got it for two. So, saved a buck there. So, that's awesome. Um, so, this next one is a $9 Mercari grab. Um, I saw it. I offered. He, I think he wanted eleven. I offered a uh, nine for it. So, and he took it. But uh, I just kind of was gonna get in some manuals and stuff like that. So we got some manuals here. So we have the original NES Control Tech manual. Um, we have the manual for the Zapper. I'm hoping maybe get a 3D box put this manual in there, kind of do a cool little backdrop, and then put it with my uh, gray zapper, and do kind of like a little display thing. I think that'd look pretty cool. Um, and we got the little NES Advantage um, manual, and <laughs> cool little Game Boy one. So that was pretty sweet. I mean, nine bucks, I can't can't complain. Um, yeah, I really like that. I think, like I said, I hope I can build that 3D box and make it look pretty cool with the zapper because as much as I have a CRT over there and I really hook it up to play Doug Hunt Munch. I was thinking about doing a video down the road about, um, yeah, about the Zapper games and stuff like that because there is actually quite a few of them and you, you'd be surprised. So we might do something like that down the road, uh, record some gameplay somehow. I don't, it's a pain in the butt to hook that up, but especially if you're trying to, like, HD wise, it's not very hard to uh, capture a screen. But with CRTVs, you got to have a whole new setup, and I'll have to probably look up how to do that again. But, but yeah, that was manuals, pretty dirt cheap. Now we'll just keep going on the good wheel train. Uh, the one around here, I haven't been having many games lately. Like I said, Devil May Cry was just kind of what I've been found recently. Otherwise, all they have is old sports titles, not even worth the plastic that they're covered in. So. What we have here is I just found some toys recently. So we went last night, and I think these were about a quarter a piece. But and I didn't really find anything in there, but it was kind of cool. But we have a nice little Luigi. I think this was originally a McDonald's toy. 
Yep. So I have one of those over there. And we have two of these. But we have a little Yoshi guy. But I have two of these. One will probably stay for display. The other one will probably get tossed in the giveaway box. Which reminds me, I'll talk about that at the end. What happened? So, yeah, we'll get at we'll get to that part at the end. Hopefully, I'll remember that. Um, but the giveaway didn't go as planned. So, uh, and then we have a cool little red shell. So it has wheels on the bottom. You pull it, and then it shoots forward. Um, yeah, these were all McDonald's toys, I think. Yep. Uh, made Nintendo made for McDonald's. Yep. Okay, so before we get to this last one, I will talk a little bit about that giveaway so I don't forget. Um, so somebody wanted, I can't think of off the top of my head, I want to say Karen Reed, or Callan Reed, I think it's Callan Reed. Um, Try to get a hold of him, emailed him twice. If you are still watching this, buddy, I'll give you a couple more days to get back to me. Um, you can either comment below or check your email, man. Because you signed up with the Gleam and you won. And I've been trying to get a hold of you to let you know, but it's been going on a week and a half, two weeks now, and I have not heard from you. So go ahead and do that, buddy. Otherwise, um, I'll do a video, a quick one, one of these days. Or if you follow, follow me on Instagram, and I'll make a post on there. Because we still have the Mario hat, the Mario lunchbox, uh, the Bolt Xbox 360 game. And I always throw fun little surprises in my packages for giveaways. So we got that stuff. Uh, get a hold of me, man. If not, yeah, we'll figure out something on Instagram or I might make a post later on. We might do something even bigger since it's taking so long. I'm sorry, guys. I really didn't, you know, expect it to go this way. I have never really used Gleam before, so, well, we'll try from the beginning. Or, try from the beginning. We'll try it again. So, now this next one, I... Uh, a friend reached out to me on, I shouldn't say a friend, I should just say a group member on one of the Facebook groups I'm on. Now he, uh, he saw I got a Saturn, he saw I didn't have any games for it, and he saw I didn't have, you know, wasn't able to test it or whatever, but I bought it, and I was worried that it wouldn't work. So he reached out to me and said, hey, I got a bunch of Saturn games and stuff like, or I got a few Saturn games, um, I don't have a Saturn anymore, they're just sitting in here. Do you want them? And I said, of course. He said, I'll pay for shipping if that's what he, I mean, because he said he doesn't want anything for them. They're just sitting there. He's hope he doesn't even know if they work. So I told him, hey, I'll pay for shipping. Um, and if you want any extra money, he said, nope, nope, I don't want any money. I don't want any money. Just take them. So I paid him. I said, he said he will take the money for shipping. So he took the money for shipping, and then he said, I'm gonna throw in some other games. So nothing extremely expensive here nothing crazy no this is not one of those videos that i like where i get a package from somebody and it's just got a bunch of awesome stuff in it you know uh but i'm not i'm not saying that i'm not grateful because this is awesome this was crazy this guy messaged me and so we're just going to go through what he sent me so first off he was right though some of the games are pretty scratched up but i haven't been able to test them yet but we're going to so we have first off we have virtual cop for the Saturn. Uh, these are all in kind of random order. Um, it did have, so they don't have, he didn't have any of the cases anymore because it was just sitting at stacks and stacks like the disc on top of each other. That's why you figured they didn't work. But here's the actual little cardboard cutout, not for resale. So I'm guessing this came with a Saturn, um, probably packaged. Um, same with this one. This is <laughs> Sega Screams Volume 1. I don't know exactly what that is, but it looks like, oh, it's a demo disc. That's what it is. Uh, and there's a couple PlayStation games and stuff in here, too. So here's the actual disc for the Sega Screams. That's pretty funny. Um, but I did have this one already, so we might do a giveaway later on. Uh, but I did get another copy of Virtual Fighter 2. Um, not a crazy expensive game, but maybe I'll throw this in with a giveaway later on. Since I have two of them now. Um, we have Daytona USA. Fun little racing game. I heard that the one on Sega Saturn is amazing. And pretty close to the, the arcade uh, version from back in the day. That you could play at the arcade. Um, so we will definitely check that one out. Now I'm going to probably slatter, slatter, <laughs> slaughter 
the name of this one, but it is Battle Arena Toshin Toshindu or whatever. Just a little thing. I think that was recently released on PlayStation Classic and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, can't complain. Free. And I and I want to hook up the Saturn. Maybe we'll do that next month and get going on. Um, yeah, get going on playing some Saturn because I haven't really had a chance to play it. You know, between this work and everything. So here was a PS2 game that I was throwing in. I don't believe I have it, um, but just 007 Nightfire um, regular PlayStation game that he threw in I think it's I think this one might get tossed because it looks like it's got disc rot and stuff and it's not worth anything but it's still nonetheless he threw it in it's NFL game day 2001 now this one when I opened it up I got super excited and I was really sad when I saw how bad a shape it was in this was one of my favorite favorite RPGs let alone probably my favorite RPG on PlayStation besides Breath of Fire 3. But we have Legend of Legia. Now, I I don't think it'll work. I haven't tried it. I might fire it up. But unfortunately, the game, I don't, you might be able to see from the back. It's hard to tell, but you can see all the scratches. Now, and also you can unfortunately, I think it's got... It might be fine. I don't know. I might try and fire it up tonight. But it's got some disc rot, it looks like. I might just go go ahead and fire it up right here after I get done off the making this video. If it would work, that would be awesome because I love this game so much. And I really wanted to play it. And I every time I see it, they people want ridiculous amounts for it. So I have not been able to find a good deal on that. But that was stack right there. It was given to me by free. So, I believe his name is Shane. I don't know if he's a subscriber or not. Um, I don't know if he's checked out the channel and stuff. But if you do, well, if you are subscribed, thank you, Shane. I really appreciate this. Um, if I can't use the games, they'll go to good homes. If I have doubles or something, it'll go to a good home. And I'll, you know, I will return the favor. You know, I always say that uh, if you get something for free, then you should do, you know, give. Pay it forward is basically what I'm saying. Is I do that too. I people need games and I got them and their doubles especially. I have no problem giving them away. Sometimes I might ask for shipping like I did with this, but I have no problem giving them away, especially if people really want them. So let's pray that this works. I doubt it will, but you never know. I've seen games in way worse shape actually work. We had a buddy who had a PlayStation game that snapped in half. We scotch taped it on the top put it together and used a hair dryer to kind of warm it back together and that thing freaking worked not very long a couple days but it worked long enough so that's what i got guys thanks for sticking with me this long in the video um it's been a great month uh got a new desk got going on the shelf it's i can't you know i'm beyond grateful i i know the collecting life's hard. It never seems like enough. It never seems like you it keeps seeing like you need more and more and more. My wife's kinda noticed that too and I said I'm sorry. But she's like then she said, Don't you don't you don't you have enough games? And it's like Yeah, but I want more. So <laughs> um Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys all had a January too. I'm looking forward good January. I'm looking forward to your guys' pickup videos. Um they're one of my favorite videos to watch. Like I said, go you guys go. I'll put a link below. Check out Chill Scissors, Bring Me Joy Con, and uh, yeah, War Train wins. Um, that was one other thing I was thinking about doing with the channel update that I did forget. I am looking to feature some of my friends every month, doing a feature video, basically just about who I really look up to, admire, and enjoy watching. And yeah, so very grateful, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have not yet, please subscribe. Please give me a like. Please give me a dislike if you didn't like it. I'm not picky, but I would prefer a like. Or just comment below. Tell me what you think, guys. Uh, yeah. Stay retro, friends, and keep coming back.